Hello and welcome back. I have some fun videos for you today. Uh, today we are going to compare uh, my niche versus uh, Mazur Mini uh, grinder. So we are going to compare. Uh, not, uh, I'm not going to compare the actual quality uh, quality of the shots because they are very subjective. But I think I'm going to compare the functionality of it. So how useful in the kitchen at home. And so let's get going. So let's talk about the size of the, uh, each grinder. So I have a measuring tape here. So this one stands at about 18 inch. Niche is about 12 inch. Okay. And my counter, uh, my, uh, let's see, my shirt is about just under about 8, 17.5 inch. So. As you can see from here, it doesn't fit, okay? It does not fit. Only way to fit is you have to remove this. And again, I mean, it looks really ugly as well. And I, I mean, so Mazur Mini is made for a coffee shop, cafe. Not exactly uh, made for home use. So, so that's the one bad thing about this grinder. I mean, again, this is really, really nice grinder. Flat burr with, it's about 58 millimeter, the flat burr. This is really good, really good quality shots. But comes to functionality, it's not that great. Uh, in contrary, Mazar, uh, the niche uh, grinder here, I mean, like you can see, it fits right inside my underneath my cabinets I mean looks nice and that you can get a black or white and I choose black and also I mean if you take a look at the inside all the they have a nice little label even though this is a stepless grinder but give you the nice uh, kind of like the reference point uh, pretty much 0 through uh, 50 but again, they are very nice to you can actually measure. And not to measure, but kind of a good reference point. Compared to Mazur Mini, there's no reference point. Uh, pretty much you have to kind of like fear for it. And so that's the one downside of it. Uh, what else? Oh, by the way, it comes to dosing. If you put 18 gram in it on your uh, niche, you're going to get about 17.9, 17.8. Kind of like uh, zero, pretty much a, a zero uh, retention rate. Uh, compared to Mazur Mini, if you put 18 gram in it, you're going to get about 15, 14, 15. The reason is, I'm going to show you uh, inside. Uh, so this, this is old technology. So inside here, so beans is coming from the side. So it's not like come down to the bottom, come to the side. So a lot of beans is stuck inside of this chute. So, I mean, that's why this is not, a, not exactly a, a zero retention uh, grinder either. But again, if you have a like small coffee shop, if you wanna do the like decaffeinated coffee, I mean, this is perfect. But it comes to home use, I prefer uh, like niche because the way it's designed is really beautiful and also kind of attention to detail comes to core here you can actually pull it like that and you can uh, put it back as well so kind of like good cable management compared to Mazur Mini you know just like uh, to the side I mean the cable is, the, this core is everywhere, so it's not a good look. Especially, my wife is very conscious about the look of the, my kitchen, so, so this is not the one, uh, personally. Again, this is good grinder, but comes to functionality, it's not that great. And this is, uh, again, the time dosing, so based on the time. And then, what, what else I can say about this grinder? Again, I mean, this is good, but compared to 
niche. I mean, this is definitely a better look as well. The nicely designed. I think I like to compare niche with like Apple computer. You know, I mean, it comes to price. Let's see. So this is six hundred and seventeen dollars on Indiegogo right now. So Mazer Mini uh, on Seattle Coffee Gear. They're selling for six ninety nine. And also, I mean, you can compare that with like Bratza, uh, let's say Sete, like 270 WI. By the way, they are really nice uh, grinder, really fast. And also that's uh, based on weight. So if you set at 18 gram, they're gonna dose 18 gram automatically. So it's, uh, compared to this one, it's kind of like single dosing. Put 18 gram in, 18 gram out. So Bratza, I mean, that's, it's about $549. So it's about the all same price range there, but comes to, again, so I'm talking about the home. Um, my personal view on that is uh, niche is much better fit in your kitchen. Uh, overall, very compact and quiet. Uh, what else? If you guys are watching my video, most likely you guys have a uh, Brista Express. Uh, most likely. And so if you, are, if you guys are thinking about upgrading your uh, espresso machines, instead of upgrading the machine, which means you, have to, you still need to buy a grinder anyway, maybe you hold up on the, uh, buying a new machine. Uh, maybe thinking about getting a new coffee grinder because a coffee grinder is a huge part of making a great coffee. You have to have a good grinder. Uh, the rule of thumb is uh, kind of like two to one ratio. If you're spending thousand bucks on the uh, coffee machine, you might want to spend about five hundred dollars on coffee grinder. So the entry level, the rocket, I really like. Uh, it's about fifteen hundred bucks, between fifteen and sixteen hundred dollars. So based on that, you might want to spend around seven hundred dollars on coffee grinder anyway. So I mean, this is all in that range: six fifteen, six ninety nine for Mazo. So is a is it right there? Plus, uh, you don't have to get a new coffee machine. I just because Brista Express is good. I mean, it's, they're good enough. Okay, once you upgrade the uh, coffee grinder, you're gonna see the big difference in taste. And also, my personal view, I mean, personally, I really like niche because the way it looks, the way it fits in my kitchen. And so, I mean, plus my wife likes it a lot. So I think that's the big uh, key as well because my wife hates this, uh, the mazo, because this is bulky and doesn't fit properly. So, again, uh, I'd love to hear from you what you guys think about uh, I think about the coffee grinder uh, versus buying a new uh, coffee machines. Please let me know on your comments. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. And anyway, I hope you guys like this video and see you guys next time.